You look up at the end of the, at the game or you look at the stat sheet and Giannis winds up with like 30 points, 12 rebounds. But how did you feel you guys defended him? Because it did seem like there were long stretches where he, uh, you know, wasn't necessarily asserting himself. Yeah, that's that's how good he is. I mean, you know, you didn't didn't feel like he had a very good game and he had 30 points and 12 rebounds. And that's why he's the MVP. Um, guys like that. Even when they don't shoot the ball well, they they have a huge impact on the game. So um, he was, uh, you know, we we tried to make him work and we tried to put bodies in front of him and we gave up a lot of threes, a lot of open threes. Tried to challenge, uh, but we, you know, we basically did a good job defensively and they missed a lot of shots, uh, but we were able to hang in. We just couldn't quite get over the hump. Steve, did you um like the pace you guys played with, or, or are you happy you guys didn't play like slugs? What was the second part of that? <laughs> did, did I like the pace we played with, or what? No, no, no. I want to hear. I want to hear the rest of this. Everybody's laughing. You got to get me in on the joke. Or are you happy you guys didn't play like slugs? Play like slugs. File it. Anybody want to share something with me? Or? The Cavaliers coach is a big story tonight. That he had a film session with his team, and he said, "You guys played it. We played like thugs." And he had to come back out and correct himself because he meant to say slugs. <laughs> Marcus, you can't just throw that at me right now. Like, I, <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we were we were flying around out there defensively, so we were. Playing like bugs, I guess. So, no, that doesn't, that doesn't really work. We were, our pace was uh, not great in the first half, and um, it picked up in the second half. I thought uh, we were a little tentative in the first half. You know, they're, they're a great team, obviously, best team in the league and, and uh, best defense in the league. And they've got a lot of long uh, athletes uh, at the rim, and, and so you've got to be able to uh, penetrate and kick and play with pace in order to generate some shots. And we did a better job of that in the second half, but uh, took a while to get to that point. I guess maybe this isn't the ideal time to ask you an officiating question, but did you have clarification on the tech foul on Bowman after his dunk? Yes. Uh, he uh, he didn't say a word, but he, he stared at uh, whoever it was. And uh, who was it? Corver. And uh, the same thing happened the other night um, either Sacramento or Detroit, one of those two games, we had a guy dunk the ball, stare at the defender for a brief second, and got a tee. I think it was the home game. I think it was Detroit. And um, apparently uh, the referees have been told that uh, if that happens, if somebody stares at someone, um, that's taunting and they have to call a tee. But... Um, it seems like a new rule, just, I mean, and it seems sort of unnecessary. I mean, I, I understand you don't want to taunt, but, um, you know, the crowd didn't have a whole lot to cheer about, and that was the best play of the first half, and it's an emotional game, and Kai didn't say anything. Um, sometimes we uh, over-regulate all this stuff. we got to show some emotion and let guys compete a little bit too. Another twenty-five grand down the drain. <laughs> Steve, last night, excuse me, last game was obviously emotional. You got fined and everything. Tonight, the team plays, we're in the game, uh, five points down with a minute to go. Does that please you? In other words, you didn't win, but are you satisfied with the fact that you're in the game so close? I just think it's all about effort. And uh, as long as um, we walk away, from a game feeling like our effort and intensity was there, then um, we can't be upset. And uh, the other night I thought we were slumping our shoulders a little bit and feeling a little sorry for ourselves, and there's no, no room for that. So we have, to, we have to go out and compete, and I thought we did a, a good job of that tonight. We, uh, we played a you know, solid game um, against a, you know, a team that's 33-6. and six. 
Um, so, you know, we walk out with our our heads held high, and we've got to continue to compete and play that way and get some wins. Steve, we've seen Omari over these past couple games being very, very active, whether it's a block or a steal. I was just wondering what you thought of his energy and intensity as of late. Yeah, his energy has been great, and the uh, the thing he adds uh, that we haven't had a whole lot of uh, here is that that big who can pop and shoot a three. You know, he made three more threes tonight, and it really does change the game when you've got a, a big man who can shoot a three. Um, you know, the, just that floor spacing makes a huge difference. So Omari has has done a great job of late. I know you often say that um, you make decisions in terms of personnel based on matchups, but is there a specific plan for Smiley Geach in terms of when he plays and, and what do you want to see from him and, and what you're getting out of him? Um, we're just trying to uh, feel the game and, and, and find him minutes within the game, um, whatever that means. So it's um, – it's just a feel thing. We, we don't go in with uh, with him as part of the rotation. We kind of have a, a rough draft of a rotation. Uh, but, but Mike and I just sort of decide as we go when we can get him a few minutes. And tonight he gave us a big lift. I thought he did a nice job. Now, now that Chris is gone, I mean, he probably could stay with you guys and maybe get in uh, you know, on a night-to-night basis. But do you want him to maybe go back to the – G League at some point get 30 minutes a night, get a lot of opportunities. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, I, I think now is a has it's been a good opportunity for uh, Smiley to 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 feel the NBA and to play some games and you know to play against a team like Milwaukee on national TV. It's a great experience, um, but he plays 11 and a half minutes and um, he needs to go and play 30 minutes and um, he'll do that soon. We're not sure exactly when, but um, he'll be back in Santa Cruz. Uh, and, and getting more time, more chance to develop, for sure.